Hello everybody! In this Python tutorial we're going to go over how to create a horizontal stacked bar chart using matplotlib. Okay, so let's jump right in. All of the code that you see right here will produce a stacked bar chart that looks like this. So let's go ahead and go over the code. The first thing we did is we imported matplotlib.pyplot as plt then we imported matplotlib.patches as mpatches, and we're going to use that for our legend. And we imported numpy. The next thing we did here is we created our data that we want to plot. So for example, you'll see here we have the data values that correspond to the gray parts of our stacked bar chart. And you'll notice it goes 2, 3, 2, 4, 5. And you can see if we start here at the bottom, these correspond to those values. So we have 2, 3, 2, 4, 5. The same pattern follows for the yellow. So we have 1, 4, 3, 3, 4. And you can see on the chart we have 1, 4, 3, 3, 4. And the same applies for the red. Now those would be equivalent to the x values. Here we have created our y data values. And you can see that that is just simply the values of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and on the y-axis that would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The next thing we did here is we plotted our actual data. So for each part of the stacked bar chart, of course you can see we have gray, yellow, and red. We've gone ahead and plotted those out. So here we have the gray. We use plt.barh, the h stands for horizontal, and inside the round brackets we put our y. Remember those are these values here. Then for the second argument we put our x values that we've created up here. And for our third argument we have gone ahead and assigned a color. Now the next two parts are very similar. However, you'll notice that there is a fourth argument titled left. So again we put in our y. And then for the second argument, we put in our yellow, which are these values. We assigned our color, yellow. And then for the left, this helps the yellow know where to start. So let's go over a couple examples of that. Okay, so as we showed earlier, for the values for gray, we have 2, 3, 2, 4, 5. And you'll notice that those correspond, 2, 3, 2, 4, 5. And the reason we have put gray here is the yellow values will start where the gray parts left off. So for example, this yellow starts at the 2 and goes 1, this yellow part starts after the 3 and goes 4 parts, and so on. Now for the third part of our stacked bar, which is the red part, we need to do basically the same thing. However, in this case, we want the red part of the stacked bar to start where the gray and the yellow left off, so we can add those up together. So basically what we have done here is in list form we want to create the values to tell the red where to start. We've used our map function which will map this lambda to the values of our gray and yellow lists here. And the lambda function will add those together. So let's go ahead and copy this. We have cleared our console. Let's go ahead and display our chart again. And let's put this part of the code in our console and see what will be in that list. Okay, so as we mentioned, we want to know where to start the red part of the stack bar. And we said one way to be able to do that is to start it after where the gray and yellows ended and add those up together. Okay, so here you can see we have two grays and one yellow, which corresponds to this three. Then we have three grays and four yellows, so that should be seven two grays and three yellows, that should be five, and the same applies to the rest, okay? So the red will start after the sum of the gray and the yellow and correspond to this list, which we have assigned to the left here, okay? The next thing we did here is we assigned our labels. So here we created the x ticks, which will allow us to increment by one, so it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now if you take that out, you can see it increments by 2. So you can increment however you'd like. Here for the y ticks, we created the labels for the y axis values. Then here we've gone ahead and we've created our chart title and the titles for our x and y axis. 
The next thing we did here is create a legend. So you can see that here in the lower right. And we used our matplotlib.patches that we imported here. And we created a gray patch, a yellow patch, and a red patch. Then finally, we used plt.legend. And we assigned those patches to handles. And we put the location in the lower right. If you'd like to create a grid, you can use plt.grid and then inside the round brackets, put whatever kind of grid you would like. And one last note, depending on the integrated development environment that you're using, you may need to type out plt.show to allow your chart to be displayed. Okay, so that's all we have for this Python tutorial. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.